So in this video, we're gonna be talking about how to wear your fragrance slash perfume. Whether you're a fragrance lover or you just inspired by fragrance or just trying it out, knowing how to wear your perfume can elevate your style and leave impressions on people. We all like to smell good and sometimes perfume can be nostalgic and it's one of those things where you can tie memories into your fragrance and that's always the beauty in it because there's always something that reminds you of either someone or some place. So without further ado, let's get started. The first step in wearing perfume is to actually find a perfume that fits your personality and your style. We can all have many choices. It doesn't mean you have to have a little bit or a lot. It just means that you're going to find smells that attract you or make you feel like they're you. That is how you feel or smell in a bottle. Some things you may want to consider before wearing your fragrance is the notes. Whether you are a floral, a woody girl, a citrus, gourmand, all those things. You want to consider those factors for the occasion or even just the season. Once you start to get into fragrances, you will find yourself actually gravitating toward certain scent profiles depending on the weather. When it's hot, personally, I don't like sweet, sweet perfumes. And when it's cold, I don't want anything too refreshing. So that's just like a little side note. Once you've chosen the right scent for the occasion or the season, it's good to consider the pulse points when applying your perfume. These are typically places that radiate heat, which in turn helps to activate and release the fragrances. Your more common pulse points will be, for example, your wrist, your neck, behind the ears, and even your inner elbows like right up in these areas. I've heard some people like spray it behind their kneecaps. Those are areas generally are more warmer. So they're going to radiate heat and therefore it's going to help lift the fragrance off the skin. Depending on the setting, if you are going in a large crowd, then of course you wanna try to hit more of your pulse points so you can project a lot more. But if you're in a more intimate setting, a couple chosen pulse points, depending on if you're gonna be more intimate or less intimate, me, but a smaller crowd I would recommend just the wrist and maybe one on the chest but if you are going to be up close and personal and you want someone to really smell you if you have on like something really delicious definitely I would do behind the earlobes and then I would probably do the wrist depending on if I don't want to overwhelm them too much if I wrap my arms around them and then plus they're coming in close so you definitely want to keep that in mind when you're spraying you don't want to over spray but you don't want to not spray enough but definitely make sure you're hitting your pulse point when you are applying i must say do not do not rub your perfume together i commonly see people will spray their perfume on their wrist and then they'll go like this no Perfumes have a structure to them. They usually have your top, your middle, and your base notes. When you do rub your wrist together, you break down that structure of the perfume. And it doesn't mean that it's going to smell bad, but you can be interfering with the longevity of it. Just keep that in mind. Perfumes are formulated with certain molecules. And when you do that, you can mix it up and then alter a little bit of the scent. It really depends because your body chemistry will also kick in if you're spraying it on your skin. I would say to avoid that, just don't rub your wrist together. But an alternative is if you just dab your wrist together, dabbing your neck or dabbing your wrist together will not affect the fragrance. It's better to dab than to rub. So if anything, don't rub, just dab, remember that. You just want the perfume to be able to maintain its composition so that way, like I said, you're getting the best of the wear so the notes can dispense properly, top, middle, and base, and then also projection. Speaking of longevity, if you do want your fragrance to last a little bit longer, there are techniques that you can do in order to try and increase the longevity of the fragrance. One that I always do is I'll take a body cream that is uh, reminiscent of the scent. So if I have a fruity body cream, I'll lather it on my skin first and then I'll take my fruity perfume and then spray those pulse points areas. But you definitely want to make sure you layer down the cream or body lotion first and then layer your perfume. When you do this, you will get a more long 
long lasting smell the lotion acts as a barrier and it kind of traps the fragrance its goal is to project it and also increase its longevity because it's not just being absorbed by bare skin but you definitely can achieve that same thing with just more creamier oily lotions if you can't find a lotion that is equivalent to the scent that doesn't matter as long as it is a lotion or a cream that is a little bit more rich you can definitely get away with it increasing the longevity of your perfume also plain baby oil works and like I say it just depends on the season if it's a hot day you don't want to put on oil baby oil and perfume you might feel like a little icky or a little too hot and sweaty but you can definitely use a lotion and that will help to increase the longevity of your fragrance so you are getting the best possible long wear out of it Also consider the time of day and occasion when you're wearing your perfume. I say that because certain perfumes thrive in heat. So your more fresher perfumes, your more gourmand perfumes, for example, if you take a gourmand, a gourmand heavy amber perfume in the fall, it's going to stand out in colder weather and really, really radiate. Whereas in warm weather, it may become too sickly sometimes that he can intensify that sweetness. It can start to feel a little bit syrupy on the skin or to the smell and that might not really fancy you during the hotter weather so always keep that in mind when you are choosing a fragrance I feel like if you're new to the fragrance it's always good to have at least two like or, or maybe three to have that happy medium where you have one for the summer that's more like a freshy or fruity and then you have your gourmand or your amber more vanilla fragrance for the fall and then you can always find something that have a little mixture of both and meet right in the middle for like the spring weather or just more warm days where it's not too hot or not too cold but you can also get away with this with just having two fragrances where you have one for warmer weather and one for colder weather just like anything perfume will fade over time there's nothing you can do to make it last all day as it did from the start hence why i said that perfume does have a structure to it the top middle and the base and that's for a reason because it will give off differences throughout time some of the top notes may not last for no more than an hour and then here come the middle notes and then there's the base but overall the smell will suffice and in order to get that smell that feeling or that fragrance to kind of come back to life you might have to reapply it depending on you know the concentration or how much you sprayed so it's definitely good to just consider carrying a travel size or touching up throughout the day a couple times just to ensure that you are smelling good for whatever occasion that you're going to it's okay to reapply it in those same areas so basically the same routine you did in the beginning of the day you can do that toward the middle or the end of the night if you want to kind of freshen up and just give yourself that fresh burst that you had prior a lot of times I don't even wear the same perfume throughout the day like if I started with something in the morning I'll probably end it at night depending on where I'm going like if it's a dinner date or so forth I'll just change it up perfume is so so unique and interesting when you really get to learn it because then you start to understand what goes with what what smells can pair up with other smells you can mix anything together and anything imaginable that's why we have so many unique niche fragrances that will mix notes that you never thought of but you yourself like if you like vanilla but you like the way it's pineapple smell there's no rule to say you can't mix the two you can definitely start off in the morning with your freshy pineapple citrusy fragrance and then turn around at night and layer it with some vanilla if you're going out or the occasion fits that see fits i would definitely do it your perfume is unique to your smell and what you like so you don't have to go by any rule of thumb it's strictly what makes you feel good and how you want to smell so that's just a few tips that i thought to come on here and let you guys know about wearing fragrances if you did enjoy the video don't forget to thumbs up the video and leave a comment and let me know how you wear your fragrance or if any of these tips kind of helped you and i definitely have a handful of perfume videos if you guys are interested you can definitely check them out i'll leave them up so you guys can watch that next and until until next time.